Hello there and welcome to the headphone utility tutorial from Adam Audio. The headphone utility is a plugin that was built in collaboration with our colleagues at Sonox. It offers a range of optimizations for the H200 studio headphones, as well as the externalization feature, which can help you make better mix decisions. Let's take a look. The software is free to download for Windows and Mac upon registration of the H200 in the My Adam user area on adamaudio.com. Once installed, open your DAW and scan for new plugins if necessary. The headphone utility should appear as a VST or audio unit under Adam Audio as the manufacturer. The feature set of the headphone utility was designed for use on mixing buses and master channels, and that is where we will open the plugin in this tutorial. With the plugin open, we can see the software has just a handful of options, but each offers a great deal of refinement specifically tailored for the H200. Let's start by looking at the EarPad material selector. The tonality of the H200 is based on the flat and transparent response of Adam Audio's flagship S3V in a well-treated room. The EarPad material selector applies an equalization curve that has been created based on clinical measurements of the H200 using both the faux leather ear pads and the soft cloth option. These curves optimize the response of the H200 based on the varying acoustic properties of the materials and thus allow the H200 to reach its full potential. Next, let's take a look at the gain compensation tool. Equalization is a field that Sonox excel in and gain compensation is something they have decades of experience with. It's an important tool when applying wide-ranging EQ curves as human hearing is more sensitive to changes in bass and high frequencies than it is to mid-range frequency changes. This can result in misperceptions of the post-EQ output with certain tweaks across the curve standing out more than others. Gain compensation accounts for this and the headphone utility offers three options. The default setting is off. In this mode, no gain compensation is applied, but it differs from bypass as the EQ applied by the earpad material selector is still active. The second option is equal loudness. This mode analyzes the EQ applied by the earpad material selector and introduces an appropriate amount of negative gain to the signal to maintain the perceived sense of input versus output loudness. As a result, you benefit fully from the improved tonal balance of the H200 without affecting the perceived loudness of your mix. This is the option we recommend in most use cases and offers the flattest possible response from the headphones. Safe mode applies the same principles as equal loudness, however it does so by applying negative gain until no frequency is boosted above 0 dB. It is useful at higher monitoring levels when EQ boosts applied by the earpad material selector could result in clipping. The next setting we will look at are the voicings, which are signature sound profiles designed by Adam Audio. The headphone utility includes Pure, which as previously mentioned is modelled on the S3V in a well-treated room. As the factory default, there is no further equalization applied by the plugin when this voicing is enabled. The second is UNR, or Uniform Natural Response, which is a more characterful tuning that is found in Adam Audio legacy products, including the AX series. Pure is intended for critical listening, mixing and mastering applications, while UNR can be enjoyable during the production and songwriting process, or when trying to get an idea of how a work in progress might sound on a club or hi-fi system. Built specifically for the H200, the externalization feature is where Sonox software expertise meets Adam Audio's hardware proficiency. An inherent aspect of headphone design is the unnatural representation of stereo sound when compared to loudspeakers. This is because the left and right ears are exclusively presented with the left and right channels, unlike with loudspeaker monitoring, where both ears hear some amount of both channels. The externalization feature uses advanced crossfeed techniques to offer a more natural representation of loudspeaker monitoring through your headphones. But what is crossfeed, you might be asking? At its core, it involves adding carefully considered amounts of the left channel to the right channel and vice versa. The externalization feature was built specifically for the H200 and employs tailor-made crossfeed across its reproduction range for a more seamless transition from loudspeaker monitoring to headphones. It is particularly useful for mixing applications when you are likely to misjudge panning decisions after prolonged loudspeaker use. Before we finish, we would like to point out that it is essential to disable the plugin before rendering any audio from the DAW. Ultimately, the headphone utility is designed to optimize the audio and allow you to make better real-time mix decisions. However, your audience will not experience the audio through the same monitoring setup, but instead they should benefit from the better mix decisions you have made during the process. 
We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and we look forward to answering whatever questions you might have in the comments below. Thanks for watching.